What up folks? Welcome back to Color Schemes and Color Theory. Today I'm going to help you out with the complementary, the analogous, monochromatic, split complementary, and triadic. Now you don't have to do the colors I choose, as long as you get the right word with the right colors, you're good. So for example, complementary. Any ones that are on the complete opposite side. So opposite of orange, blue. Opposite of green, red. Opposite of violet, yellow. So as long as you go directly straight across, you're good. So I'm going to do orange and blue because those are my faves. Get the colored pencils out. Got my orange. And I'm going to use this blue. And if it helps you, my orange looks like it's probably about right here. And don't, don't color like this. You want to push down a little bit and get that intense color. Don't be scared. So I go around the edges, just that's just me. Doing the complementary. And as sometimes we talk about in class, good reason to know the complementary colors is it makes stuff pop. So if I had an orange background, I put something blue in front of it, bam. Right, same thing with, say I got a red wall and a green plant in front of it, that green plant's gonna pop. All right, so, got the opposite of orange. Let me double check it. That's my orange. Opposite side, blue. Right, so I'm going straight across, I'm doing my blue. I might kind of roll fast on this, but you can fast forward and rewind this at your leisure. And you can put all of these on one piece of paper if you want, but make sure you put it on your Google Slides and you submit it for the grade on Canvas. I shouldn't see any white showing through on there, right? That's intense color, you want that intensity. So complementary, opposite sides of the wheel. I did orange and blue, but you could do red and green, yellow and violet, your call. Analogous, those are ones that are next to each other on the wheel. So for example, if I was gonna use yellow, yellow, green, and green, since they're all three next to each other, those would be analogous. Same thing here, yellow, yellow, orange, orange. As long as those are, the colors are next to each other on the real deal wheel that you did the other day, you're fine. So I'm gonna go with yellow, yellow, green, and green. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. Since I got yellow and yellow green right next to each other I'm gonna cover the whole thing yellow and then come back with some green on top of that so I'll go ahead now, this may or may not work for the colors you choose but for this one it definitely works And then the other one was straight green. So I'm coming in here with that. And I might not push down quite as hard on this green when I come over here, because I still want some of that yellow to, to be able to show through. Come over here since it's supposed to be yellow green. Put some green on top of that yellow. Now, if you 
you had a pencil that was already a mix of yellow and green, you might be able to get away with that, but I generally mix them on the paper. That's how I roll. All right, so there's my analogous. Three colors that are next to each other on the wheel, they're very similar, right? Because it takes yellow to make green, yellow and blue make green, but anyways. Monochromatic, this is the easiest one of all. It means one color. So for this one, I'm gonna go with my violet. So I think it was running around here on my color wheel. So, and since monochromatic, you could have light violet, dark violet, whatever. This one, you could start off light and then start pushing down more and more as you get to the outside. I'm gonna move this book a little bit so I can get in there. I'm just going to lighten up as I get closer to the center. Try to blend it a little bit. Try not to let too much white show through on my intense section. <laughs> Clean it up around the edges. Bam! Done. Monochromatic. Easy peasy. Now, these might be a little bit more tricky for you. So, Split complementary. Complementary was straight across opposite. Down here, when we come straight across, instead of doing the one that's actually straight across, we'll do those two that are next to it. All right? So, and I'll pick a different color this time just so you get the hang of it. I'm gonna do red down here. All right, so if I come across directly from red, I got green, so since it's split, I go and I split off to the two sides. So I'm going to put red on the bottom down over there, and then I'm going to have a yellow-green and a blue-green. Right? Some red right here, going around those edges. You can definitely take more time with yours. I'm just trying to get through it quick so you don't have to waste your whole time watching my video. And like I said, you do not have to choose the same colors I chose. As long as they follow the split complementary rules, that's what matters. All right, so complementary, I went straight across. Split complementary, I'm going straight across, and then I'm going to do these two next to it. All right? So I got yellow green right there I might need some yellow to mix in there with that and then over here I got a blue green so I need some blue to mix in with that all right so let's do this put the yellow down first yeah I usually put the, the lighter color down first because sometimes it's hard to cover up a dark color with a light color. Generally, a lot easier to cover up a light color like yellow with some green. I don't want to cover it all the way because it's supposed to be yellow green, it's supposed to be mixed. Kind of like that one over there. And just a little reminder, red is one of the primary colors, so that's a one. Yellow green is a intermediate, right? Because I'm mixing a one and a two to get a three. Because blue and yellow make green, plus some more yellow equals my yellow green. 
right. Over here, got my blue green. And something that, just in case you want to make sure your grade's legit, you might want to label them. So I could put orange. And I could put blue. Just so Mr. Nice gets my grades straight on his canvas. Um, I could put, since the yellow is kind of hard to see, I'm going to write it in blue. Yellow. Yellow green and green. That was my violet. I still got some violet hanging out. So I'm going to put that in there. Violet. All right, back to my split complementary. So I went straight across and then went to the ones next to it. So I got my yellow green, yellow green. And what was down here? Yep, red. What's supposed to be over here? I need to go back and check. I can look on page 29 of that red book Mr. Nice has, or this is also on the slideshow. So the opposite of red is green, but I split out. So I already got yellow green, now I do blue green. That's where I'm gonna put my blue green. So I'm going to do some light color blue first and then go on top of it with that green. Um, just so I don't forget what I'm putting here. Blue green. And this is not just for the color wheel. This is for you to use for the rest of the semester in your artwork. Case in point, your next assignment will be to do a drawing using each one of these color schemes for a different drawing for each scheme. All right, so I need to add some green to that. Bam split complementary. All right, I'm gonna move these out of the way a little bit. Triadic, this is not too hard. Easiest way to do it would be to do primary colors. If you forgot what primary colors are, it is Superman colors, old school. Red, yellow, and blue. That's what you use to make any color in the world. You can mix different amounts of those three colors together to get any of these colors. So, I got my yellow. I got my blue, and I got my red. Now, another set, complementary, or I'm sorry, of triadic colors, right? The reason it's called triadic, triangle, triadic, begin with the same, right? So, if I look at blue, yellow, and red, oh, sorry. They form a triangle, right? between my yellow, blue, and red. Now you could do different ones. You could do intermediate or secondary colors. So I could do green, orange, and violet if I wanted to. As long as they make that triangle shape, that's what you need. So there should be at least three blocks in between each other, right? So between green and violet, there's blue, green, blue, and blue dot. So primary colors. Got me yellow. I'm gonna go a little bit fast because my bell's about to ring. I'm about to run out of time. So hopefully you take more time with yours and make yours look legit. Yellow, I know it's gonna be hard to see. Move over three times. And then I've got my blue. Move over three times, one, two, three. And I got my red. They will firm my triangle. So here's my red. Sorry I'm going so fast, but yeah, my bell's about to ring. I'm about to have a whole bunch of kids or young adults in here. And 
be getting loud, so I'm trying to do this before I get to you. And that's it. Let me know if you need any help.